Hi everyone, now just about to dye some CDC feathers now yesterday I put on a video about obviously some of the CDC that I use now I'm going to dye some cinnamon now I've got here about maybe two pints of water but just simmer on the way now I'm going to add this is uh, cinnamon dye now you get it in the smaller pots, I bought it big obviously now uh, the measurement they put in is not in this case is not going to be too much uh, looking round about just the end of this teaspoon, or oh, sorry, it's a dessert spoon. Sorry, I'm just going to mix it into the water. You don't need a lot, it's not a lot of feathers. And we can see that there. And basically, making sure that the dye is dissolved. Now, I've got the CDC feathers here, and this here is basically a frying pan. I put it in the top of that to stop. Uh, splashes. Now, I've obviously I've washed the CDC a bit. Now, it doesn't look a lot, but you'd be surprised how much is in this. Uh, it reduces a lot. Just going to put it in. I've just washed it with some faded liquid just to take away some of the, the oil. Make sure it's clean. Now, that's fine, ready to dye. Yeah, I think I've got most of the feathers out. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put half in. Now, half so it takes up, I would say, most of the dye. Just set this to the side. And then what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to work the dye through. Hopefully you can see this. Uh, I'll drop the camera a wee bit more. Just working the, the dye through. Now this is going to take up most of the dye, this CDC. So it is. I'll just keep it, let it work away. Uh, it's just basically sorting up. You just watch the colour, what you've got to do is watch the colour. Uh, and it changes quite quick. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in just some vinegar. This is a larger vinegar I'm just going to stir it in. Don't need a lot, as you can see. Now what this will do, I'll do is obviously encourage the dye to take. Now you can pull the feathers up and just look at how dark they are. I heard that they're going anyway. Yeah, I want a good two tone, I want a good colour in this. Now I can see the dyes starting to come away from the. or starting to. feathers are starting to soak up the dye, sorry. So basically, I just keep mixing. Yeah, it is on a. it's bubbling away. It's been a little second for a second, it will bubble away. Now we take some of the feathers to the top and you can see the colour there, nice dark cinnamon there. And as you can see it's dying, starting to come out of the water. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, when I think there's most of the dyes away, I'm going to add in the rest of the CDC so I get the dark cinnamon and the light cinnamon feather. There you go, that looks fine. So, basically, back to this, just flip it in. Sure you get all the feathers anyway. And again, just mix it. Now, you'll see the rest of the dye going. You'll see it practically disappearing. I don't know. What you're seeing most mainly here is the, the feathers. Right, just give it a second or so. I say I want a light cinnamon, so by doing this, you're getting your two different colours. Uh, basically, a lot of questions yesterday about what do I mean by two tone and how do I get this? And hopefully, this will answer your question. Now I'm just going to pull some of the feathers up and just have a quick look. Well, it's fine. And I don't know if you can see, but most of the dye is now away. Just twist it off. 
Now, what I'm going to do is put some cold water into the basin. And as I see it, uh, you can actually, there's no dye left. It's all in the feathers. So what I'm going to do is pour this through the, the splash bag. Add a wee bit of cold water into it. Get all the feathers out. And then just basically just squeeze the water out of it. I usually throw it in, but there is actually one or two white feathers in there, so I'm just going to throw it through the splash pad. And there you go. It's as simple as that. Then, get a point, you get an old till anyway, and then press it into the till. Take away, out, take out most of the water. Turn the turn up till round to the other side just to make sure that it's as dry as possible. Now I'm going to speed the process up, so I'll show you that when we get through my room. Okay, now we're ready to dry the CDC feathers. Now there's a couple of things I, I use sometimes do. Uh, I mean, basically, this is the feathers. First thing you do is open the fiber out, open them out the feathers. Uh, just that's way so you can see what I'm doing. Just get it, open it out. Now the other thing I like to do, and I forgot to lift it over, I just get it. Uh, now a lot of people ask me how do I get the. Obviously, I've dyed the feathers. Uh, I've taken a lot of the. I've taken the oil out really. Now, uh, which basically helps to float the. the I help keep the, the flies up. Now you can put it back either you can dry these the way they are and then just add your floating. When you're floating it will basically uh, soak into the fiber and it'll make it float. Well you can do it before it. Now it's one of the things that I've tried and works really well is this this here. This is as you can see Nick Wax spray on. I just lightly spray it onto the feathers. And then run all around, just a basically coating the feathers. I mean, there is a tiny bit of water still in the feather, in the, the feather itself, but it's it's actually blending in. It soaks in much. You don't need a huge amount. Now you can actually let it dry, or you can speed the process up, and that's what I'm going to do. Now the way I dry it, it's quite simple. Put the same splash guard, this is I say a splash guard that you buy for the uh, when you're frying pan, you just lay it on the top and stop the oil spitting out. But I use it obviously uh, over the pan and then get the hair dryer and these blow away to dry. Just to see what it's like. There's a lot of feathers in the splash card, so I'm just going to pull these out. You can actually see the colours. How's it looking? It's getting there. Yeah, it's just about ready. I'll just probably leave it like that. It doesn't take long. You see how long it takes to dry, uh, die, sorry, and then it's not, it doesn't take long, just take your time and uh, you can end up with some really nice feathers. Now I'm going to take some out and show you the ones that dry, uh, what they're like. Now, 
here we are. This is the. I'll just bring the light over a bit better so you can see the colour. So this is the two colours I got from dyeing uh, or using the cinnamon dye. Obviously, the, the first set of feathers here. These are the obviously the dark cinnamon, and these are the feathers uh, which I put in later after most of the dye was taken up. And we've got these feathers here, which are the light cinnamon. Great, two great colours. I mean, absolutely brilliant. And you see how the CDC feathers are opened out, nice, nice and light. You get a nice fly out of that. You, you can mix if you want. I do mix them. I put light and dark together in the same fly, especially tank caddis. Uh, as you can see, they're really, really nice feathers. So anyway, there we are. That's uh, the how to dye or how to get the two colours using the same dye. Just putting it, some of the feathers in first, and then the, the remaining feathers. And just before the dye, you've got to get the timing right. It's just watch to see how dark you want in this setting part. I wanted it light. I wanted it really different from the first set. And you get that lovely colour. So that's just using a cinnamon dye. Nothing else, and just allowing it to take at certain times. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, if you enjoy the videos and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It, it does it does help. It it basically shows everyone and myself that I'm doing things right. And uh, anyway, again, hope you enjoyed that. Until next time.